Hi, it's Mark. I um, just want to show you quickly a uh, technique I'm using for green screening for my brother's music video. Um, I haven't really done a lot of green screening before, but with some trial and error and watching some tutorials, I found quite a good way to do it. I'm using Premiere Pro, and I've got all my green screen clips laid out here. Um, so if we take a piece of footage like this, in your video effects, in uh, keying, you'll see something called Ultra Key. I've just put all my favorite um, effects in a favorites folder. So let's drag Ultra Key onto the clip and um, it gives us uh, the effect here. The first thing we do is we click the eyedropper and choose a kind of darkish part of the green. Um, I'm going to go for something like that and already it's done quite a nice job. If we choose something that's too light, um, we've got a lot of uh, shadows of the green to take out. So I prefer to go for a darker part of the green. And then what I've been doing is increasing the pedestal a little bit. And um, you can see there's still some little bit of fuzz around the character, around the subject rather. So we're just going to take the highlight down. And then the rest of the stuff, we don't want to play too much with the shadow because it starts affecting the, the actual um, subject. If we look at the alpha channel, we're losing some information here. So I'm going to undo the, the shadow. And then as a last, as a last thing for the, for the effects, I just add a crop. On something simple like this, a standard crop is alright because um, he's not moving to the edges. And that's it. So if we were to now drop a piece of or some stock footage below him, we get quite a nice, quite a nice clean uh, clean cutout subject. And then the, he he does pick up a bit of a green on the screen, so we could do color correction after that. But that's uh, that's a separate thing. If we had something more complex, like a long shot, let me try find one. Say something like this, uh, and it would be the same process. Let me show you actually. I'll drop an ultra key on this, and um, we'll choose a dark part of the green, up the pedestal a bit, and then I'd want to take out the highlights here. And then instead of just a normal crop, I'd add a 16 point garbage mat on it. And this uh, this lets me um, cut around the character more accurately, especially by the feet. We see there's some um, there's some messiness there. A normal crop wouldn't really let me do that so well. I know sometimes it's worth going into the feet like that. Just play this back. You see, we're cutting off too much. We could even animate these points over time. That's just extra work if you want to do that by setting keyframes here. That looks alright. If I play it back, let's see. And that's pretty much it. Ultra key in combination with. Uh, either crop or 16 point garbage mat or 8 points depending how complex the footage is and then you got your green screen sweet bruh